The next thing that we want to be really, really good at is we want to be master separators. Master separators, okay? So we talked about one of the key things is our ability to create 2v1s or ability to get two to guard one, okay? Two to guard one. So in essence, all of these numbers that we have in our offense, we have 10 numbers, okay? 10 potential actions that could happen are all an ability to separate, okay? Now the advantage of having those numbers for us, okay, is we can cue them in to what they need to do, okay, very simply. So it may be, hey, we're playing a team that's gonna chase a lot. <sighs> gonna chase a lot, chase a lot, chase a lot, okay? Well, we wanna run numbers that make sense with that, okay? We can say, hey, guys, you're running twos and fives, okay? That's what we want you to do. On the floor, boom, ball gets to my trail, two. Off we go, bang, everyone else on the floor knows what they want to do, okay? Something that's drilled into them, in their head, boom, a 10 means this, nine means this, off we go, different people move on the floor, okay? So that's how we build our concepts into things. So right now, can I have, let's go 3v3 out of this, why don't we go on this side of the floor, can I have uh, two post players in this trail spot for me? Okay, and then I, I can have uh, any two right here on the hit spot, so hit spot and D. Offense and defense, and then let's get two in the corner. Offense and defense. Okay, so the next concept we're gonna build, uh, so you're, yep, you're, sorry, I, you can move for Jared, but. Um, so the next concept we're gonna build is some of these numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna start us with, um, with the idea of really what we call twos, threes, and four package. Okay, so when this ball's caught, we're now in a three, so this is gonna be a three, and a three is gonna be a down screen. Okay, so three is gonna be a down screen. At this point, okay, the way that we go through all of our progressions with any form of two people coming together, okay, screening action, two people coming together, okay, is you're always looking at the down person, okay? We feel it's very important for us to cue our passes where to look. Okay, we, we talk all the time, the coaches talk all the time, ah, oh, the kid doesn't have great vision, they, they, they can't see, well, you gotta tell them where to look. <laughs> like, I think that's really, really important. If you haven't done that, that's probably the first place to start, okay? So to start with, every screening action we have, we always need to see down first, okay? We always need to see down first, okay? So who's, who is defense here? Can, can I have the white and blacks like opposite each other so we got, um, so it's, so let's just get one of you white, let's go white right here, white in the corner, I don't care. Just, just stay white, you're good. Just switch to that spot right here. Let's get a D right here. here. One of you guys, one of you guys, just right here. Perfect. And then black, you're on D right here. Okay. So right now, all right. <laughs> boys, 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 boys. <laughs> okay, so what we got, we're gonna go three. He's gonna call out number three, okay, three. All right, off you go, you're coming down. Wait, 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 okay? Let's, not, let's, let's wait for this stuff, okay? So we're gonna wait in this corner down here. This is now his choice, okay? What then gets to happen? He really has three options, what would they be? Uh, come off it. You could come off it, okay, good. Can come off it, we could catch to shoot, we can hopefully play off a closeout right here, okay? Or now what, what we have after a, a number is an interaction, a ball screen, a fire, so we, we actually have terminology. I feel dribble handoff is so hard to say. We say fire. So a fire is a dribble handoff, okay? A ball screen is a smoke, okay? And then we have a get as well. That's our, that's our terminology, okay? So you have three options, right? You could come off, catch the ball up there. You could do what else? We could back cut, okay? So that would be if someone j beat me through that space. So if he was gonna be first one through, you were gonna be first one through, boom, out I go, okay? The third one would be, he's chasing me. Curl. Okay, I could curl, okay? So the separating piece is the most important part of this, okay? So we need one person going in that direction, one person going in that direction, okay? Playing out of this concept, okay? So right now you have the choice, okay, to call a two, which you're curling, okay, it's a curly number. Okay, three, you're coming straight up, that's just sta standard thing, or four, you're back cutting, it's all wonky. All right, so your, your reads right now, okay, we're gonna play out of this space, is let's say he twos, and we're gonna auto two to start. Okay, you're gonna curl, okay? Second he goes, I need you to peel out of this to get to your hit spot. 
okay, to create that separation. One option, two options, okay? See down first, see out, okay? Right now, there's no help defense, right? There's no help defense, so these people have to be involved in this action to stop it, okay? So right now, we, we're not gonna need an interaction afterwards. We're not gonna need a ball screen or a get, okay, or anything like that. When I peel out of this, okay, I wanna play off this shot. Okay, coming down, boom, out I go, okay, boom, ice to the rim, let's play off that closeout, go get to the rim, okay? You'll exit to the other side, okay? So let's go here, let's get, uh, get to those spots, okay? We play out of these actions a lot. All 3v3 actions, okay, these are all different numbers that could happen, okay? Um, can I get a passer over here? Let's get you on the hit spot right there with a the ball. We'll start with a trigger right here. Okay, ball's coming to the trail. Okay, I want us to curl this, this screen. Here we go, three. three, three. Boom, curl in, peel out. Good. Nice, all right, same group again. Same group again. I want you guys to make sure they don't score in the same way, defensively. Okay, don't score in the same way. Here we go. Okay, not bad off it. So defense, what can we do to make sure they don't score in the same way? What can we do on the curl right there? Switch it. Okay, look, maybe we could switch it. Maybe we slide through, okay? So at the point of the screen, boom, screen comes down. Okay, we're about to chase it. Boom, he goes. All right, I'm gonna slide through. We stop that, make him do the next thing. Let's see one of those. Here we go. All right, can I have a new defender? Let's get a new defender, let's get some size. Here we go, perfect. All right, we're playing out of this. Okay, we're gonna curl again. I do not want that kid to catch the ball. All right, here we go. Good, throw it. okay, all right, so that's good. Okay, we did see that, okay? But what we have, we have a long closeout. Okay, so that defensive player was down in here. Okay, or we have potentially a mismatch. Okay, so where we started with, with our hierarchy, what was better? Long closeout, right? Okay, well really this could be an open shot, that could be the very top. Okay, so that's the things that we try to coach. Okay, we try to pro progress through, okay, with our choice, okay, was that a better choice? Okay, let's go again. Okay, let's see if we can play off this catch. I wanna see if we can get through to this point right here. Here we go. Boom. Get out. Play off the catch. Nice job. Hey, good choice. Good choice. Really like it. Okay, really like it. Nice job. Okay. So with these screening actions, those principles apply all over the floor. Okay, those principles apply all over the floor. So that may be, hey, uh, we're allowed to move it. It's just, it's going just fine. We're allowed to move it. And now we're in our action that's called by our, our hit guard spot, okay, on the opposite side, okay? Or those actions may have to be counters to things, okay? So if we were to go now, um, let's get rid of that corner line. Can I get, um, let's get those two in this, in this hit spot now here, okay? So let's say the ball starts there, okay? It's been kicked ahead. We've gone through the corner, okay? And at that point, this is denied, okay? At that point, this is denied, okay? Well, we now need a series of counters to play out of, okay? Super important, we have our spacing spot, so our spots on the floor. We are never going to be in a different spot than the hit spot right there, the trail, the hit spot, either of the corners, and our fly post, okay? Those are our spots on the floor, okay? You've gotta hunt those spots, those create our best situations. Okay, now there may not be a trail in, in certain scenarios as well, okay? So we're denied in this spot, okay? Same concept, we could be in away action, okay, away action. So at this point, yeah, you're gonna be in an away screen, okay? So we build the same things in, okay? So you have the same three options, okay, that you had with the other stuff, what were they? Curl. Curl. Come off it, back up. Yep, so two, three, or four. He's communicating that stuff, okay? So at that point, Boom, let's say you curl it. Okay, where would you go? Back to where you came from. Okay, so back to where you came from, we're going out the other way, ball comes. Okay, one of those two people, he now has a closeout he can play out of. 
Okay, they deal with that well, ball can come. We've had a number that goes into an interaction. Okay, this could be a ball screen, this could be a fire, it could be a get. Make sense? Okay. Now this area of the floor is really important. So, so it's, it's crucial for us to build these counters into things that seamlessly flow into the other stuff. Okay, so that they know what they're doing. So that's kind of how we work with this stuff. Real quick, let's go a couple of those reps. Why don't we go, you two guys go in that spot for me. You two guys go in this spot. Okay, I want to deny the trail. Okay, defense, you can do whatever you want in that spot. Okay, in that spot right here. Okay, I want us to score out of one of these two people. Here we go. Boom. Good, okay. Let's go again. Let's make them score a different way. Guard them differently. Okay, guard them differently. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, so that's not something we do. Okay, so we're in this space. Ball's over there. Okay, you have very clear three options. Okay, very clear three options. Okay, that would be I'm getting chased, I am curling tight into this space. Okay, to get myself a layup. Okay, they want to be first one through. So defense wants to be first one through. Okay, I think you were guarding him, right? Okay, you want to be first one through. Okay, you're going through this way. Boom, I'm coming this way. I now separate. Okay, this is all about getting two people to guard one of us. Okay, it's usually going to be two people guarding the cutter. Okay, the last thing would be if I come to catch the ball up, could I have a, just a corner guard real quick? So you're in that corner guard spot. Uh, you're, you're up there, so you're gonna screen. Boom, let's just step off for a second, I'll take this spot. Okay, you come screen, boom. Okay, a three, boom, you go. Okay, I'm coming up to the spot that we had start with. We can play from there. You're now going to that block. You're now lifting. Okay, go get him that ball, bang. Okay, go play from there. We can play out of that post and stuff, okay? So the last thing that we didn't talk about okay, is the opportunity for our screener to make a choice, okay? So the screen, the screenee was always having that choice, okay? The screener has one choice they can make, okay? So why don't I be the screener right now? Let's get a, a play right here, okay? Ball's over there, okay? So the one choice I have to make is if two people get above me, Okay, that's the only time I have the choice. Okay, so if two people get above me, I'm coming to screen, you're stepping up, you're sitting, sit, sitting above, so you, maybe you're trying to deny that catch, boom, I can slip into space, I have the license to do that at any point in time, the two players in the action are above me. Make sense? All right, let's see a couple of reps real quick. What we'll do, okay, I'm gonna start with this ball here. Okay, I'm gonna start with this ball here. We're gonna play out of this. I want you guys actually go offense, defense with it. So let's get, um, can I get white and black? So you're on the, uh, so let's go whites here as a screener. All right, yeah, you guys can switch. We'll do that. You just gotta switch there, that's fine. Okay, so you're allowing this pass, okay? You're denying this one, we're playing out of that. On a rebound, ball comes back out to me. We find those spots. I'm gonna hit the hit spot, we're gonna play from there. Okay, first team to two buckets. All right, here we go. Not bad. White right here, white right here. Here we go. Same spots. Ready to go, ready to go. Here we go. Boom. All right, pause, pause, pause. Okay. So we came off that screen, right? Okay, so what's our job? What's our job? Master separators. Okay, master separators. Okay, so you curled that, right? Yeah. Okay, did you tell him you were curling it? Okay, so we have to obviously communicate what we're doing with each other so we know what we have to do, okay? So he curled it, okay? What would be the best version of separating from there? Okay, so, so you went through, you cut down, so we had someone down, you would wanna go back to this spot. Okay, that's master separating, as quick as we can. Boom, two people come together, bang, bang, out we go. Now we can catch the ball, now we can play, we create a long closeout, okay? Here we go, my ball, let's go first to score. Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. All right, my ball, my ball. What's on offense? Here we go. Get up, get up. 
Nice, good, come out, come, 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 come. Not bad, good choice. Okay, once again, gotta separate, right? They cut, we come back. Here we go, black ball, black ball. Okay, let's go again. Okay, did he try to beat you through that? Okay, so if he didn't try to beat you through, we gotta make a different choice. Okay, everything is about choices. Okay, everything is about choices. You would probably hear, and, and maybe I need to record myself with a mic one day, the amount of time we talk about the choice. Good choice, bad choice. That's all this conceptual basketball is about. Okay, we can sort out the rest. You can do all your individual workouts to do your finishing, do all that. If you don't make a good choice, it's not gonna matter. Okay, so good choice, bad choice should be the, the most things you say on a basketball court as a coach. Okay, or ask them. Was that a good choice? Okay, so right here, okay, if he's not gonna, if he's not trying to beat you through, we've gotta curl it. Okay, we gotta separate that way. Here we go. My ball. Nice, good job, not bad. Nice, nice choice, good. So the next thing I'm gonna go through is building the, the uh, number and the interaction together. Uh, so why don't we get some new guys? We'll get some new guys up. Can I have, I need six of you. So why don't you stay here? Let's get someone guarding right here. And then we're gonna go this side of the floor with it right now. So I need hit spot, okay, with a defensive player. I need corner with a defensive player. Okay, so we talked at the start, or a little bit earlier, about the importance of combining things together. Okay, the importance of combining these numbers, these cutting actions, with potentially some of these interactions. So what I'm gonna show you right now, so once again, this is from that flow spacing, right? This is still from that flow spacing, okay? But we, we have an ability to throw the ball to the corner. Okay, so our high numbers, our high numbers, eight and 10, ball goes to the corner, okay? We like to do that, particularly on the second side of action. So what you see a lot with kind of conceptual basketballs, maybe you've, you've, you've run a ball screen over here, okay? If I've been in a ball screen right here, what are you probably doing down there? Okay, you might be loaded up, okay? Depending on your scheme, you might have a foot in the lane, you might have a foot on the rim, you may even be tagging a roller in this stuff. So our ability to get the ball quickly Ah, to the other side and to that corner now creates a pretty big perturbation to things, okay? You now have a long closeout. You may have a jump shot to play from. We actually had that um, in our tournament last week with our hanging, we call that the hole. They're hanging in the hole a long time. We are able to just catch that ball, zing it to the corner and off we go, okay? So the corner is really, really important in basketball. I think heavily underutilized, okay? In offensive basketball in, in kind of modern, modern, modern way. Okay, so ball goes to the corner. So I'm gonna show you guys the eight action right now. Okay, our eight action. So from that, this is gonna be a flare screen from our top to our hit guard, a trail to hit guard flare screen. Okay, so we talked about master separators, master separators. So what was the one option you had as a screener to make a choice? Okay, so you could slip it and when, when would you slip it? When both defenders are above you. Okay, two defenders are above you. So if he's coming to a spot where he's behind me, okay, I'm in a spot, boom. Okay, I'm coming to screen, slip into space, go get myself a score, okay? Other than that, you now have a choice, okay? So you're coming down, this is your choice now. You've called eight, this is, ball's in your control right now. You're guarding the corner, otherwise he's shooting that thing right now. And I'm coming to set a flare screen right here. Okay, so with your separating, what are the three things you could do? You could curl it. Okay, so where's my defender? Can you get right there? Okay, so you could absolutely curl it. So you curl it, he's maybe chased you. Okay, you go over, what's likely gonna happen? Okay, he's probably gonna at least stunt at you for a little bit and we go from there. This is when we run into our corner ball screen. Okay, so we'll run into a corner ball screen a lot out of this. We now have a massive triple gap to the middle of the floor to get a layup. Okay, um, I'll shoot you guys through some video of our recent stuff. And uh, so we have Izzy Morgan, New South Wales girl on our team. She was a freshman this year. And this girl scored that many points late in the year from this corner ball screen, it was absurd. Like, it was crazy. There's nothing you can do about it. There's no scheme defensively unless you're gonna switch it, okay? 
that you can really handle this in any, in any way, okay? Now you think about this, I'm not gonna pick on your size right now, little guy right in the corner, okay? He's coming down, okay? I, let's say I'm a big person, we'll pretend I'm a big person, okay? So he's come off, boom, they've gone, you go run in this corner ball screen, okay? We get this switch, boom, late switch, okay? One, two, three on the other side of the floor, you now get to a spot down here, this is a big problem. <laughs> okay, he hasn't been able to switch in a spot. It's, it's almost impossible to switch in a spot where you can get to a front on this. Okay, so a little person can't handle it. It's also, you get really buried in this area too. Okay, great way to get a post touch. Okay, from that action as well. Okay, so the last, so two. Okay, so let, let's go back. Let's kind of run through options still. Okay, where are we? So that would be a two. You would call two on that. You would curl. You'd run into a corner ball screen. Okay, layering concepts together. Boom, go. Corner ball screen, so that would be that option. Okay, next option. Yep, really nice. Okay, let's get the ball back. Okay, we can start within the corner. Let's go set our screen. Okay, so let's say he was up and he was physical. He's like, oh man. Okay, I'm not letting him get this. Okay, I'm gonna get up into this space. Boom, up here as the screen happens. Okay, cut across my face. Boom, what's probably gonna happen? Same kind of thing, we can go into a ball screen as well. Okay, we can go, get, go into a get from this corner, play out of this, okay? The last one, and this is actually kind of what makes our offense hum. What makes our offense hum is, uh, is our three screen with our double gaps. Okay, so, so our eight with a three, thank you, with our double gaps. So right now, can I have two players on this side of the floor? Okay, so black's on offense right here, okay? White's on defense, okay? And why don't we just add one person in this corner just so you have a, a context of where that is, okay? Our post pulls. So anytime the ball goes to the corner, this becomes five out alignment for a little bit, okay? Five out alignment, that's often a post player in that corner, okay? So on this, okay, let's, let me take this spot real quick, okay? So he's come down, he's screened, boom! I'm right here, ready to catch this ball, okay? I can shoot it, okay? Now, he's been ball side, otherwise you got slipped on, yeah? Okay, so you've been ball side, you're over this way. Okay, bang. Where would you be if you're guarding this action right now? Yeah, probably, yeah, maybe a step higher. Okay, you're here. I now get to catch this ball. Boom, I can now play out of the shot fake. I now get this middle drive. And where does this get us to? This gets us to where we started, right? This gets us to our early pitch. Okay, this gets us to our early pitch. So really, there's three things that can happen here, or four things that can happen. You get to shoot this ball, okay? You get to attack and neither of these two guys come, okay? And you get to finish the ball at the rim, look awesome, okay? You get an early pitch, okay, where this person gets in that area, bang, ah, maybe it's a one more, okay? Maybe your top person steps up, okay? I get down, okay, and then the hole, is the help right there and we find out, okay? So these big gaps, and that's why we like to play from our hit spots and not the slot area, okay? These hit spots are crucial to give us these big gaps, okay, to compromise this weak side defense, okay? To me, there's no way you can actually guard this. This eight action, there's really no way you can guard it if there's any ability to, to score in a mismatch inside, okay? Like there's, there's truly none. Teams will throw everything, they'll try to deny a corner, they'll try to deny different spots, we obviously can do some different things. Okay, so right now, ball's gonna start here. Okay, uh, we're gonna play through these four people. Okay, these four people, ball's gonna start. Okay, you're gonna go. Okay, we have an eight screen. Okay, have an eight screen, get your separating. Okay, you have a choice. Okay, and I only want us to curl if he jumps up the line. Okay, so if he doesn't jump up the line, I want us to catch it right here. Bang, I want us to play out of this. Okay, we're playing 4v4 out of this right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's go three with black team on offense. We'll do three reps with white team on offense. Ball start. Okay. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom, go. All right. Pause, freeze, come back for me. Okay, play off, I want you to recreate that. Okay, just the end bit, so just after the screen. He's caught the ball, okay. 
So you played that middle drive. Who did you encounter? You encountered him, right? Okay, do you have two people guiding you? Was that one of your top jobs? So two guiding one, right, was, was number two on the list. Okay, you've done your job. Okay, at that point, you've done the hottest thing in basketball. Okay, to, to make, make two guide you. It's the hottest thing in basketball. We then get to make the next play. Okay, so see that early pitch footwork we worked on at the start. Okay, let's go again. Here we go. I want you to see that one. Boom, go ball screen, go ball screen. Good. Yeah, and that's, hey, that's not a bad choice too. Okay, that's not a bad choice too. So we're now separating. Okay, remember, master separators. Okay, master separators. So they want to curl that. He wants to sink. I'm absolutely okay with you getting here. And now you get to play off that closeout as well. Another choice. Right now, let's go ball screen at the top. Okay, here we go. Ball starts. Here we go. Boom. Play. Go. Nice. Decent job. All right. Let's give White a couple of reps. I want to see... I want to see what you guys have got. Here we go. Ball's here. Yep, let's get to that corner. Sweet. All right, here we go. Boom. Well, let's go to that corner, okay? Let's go to that corner. Okay, we're going to kick to the corner. He's going to now come flare screen you. Okay, then you have that choice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boom, go. Play out of it. Good. Drive. Boom. Attack. See the next. Yep. Play. Yeah, hey, I like that we caught to shoot it. Good. Okay, we obviously got to catch that to shoot. Okay. Once again, long closeouts, right? Okay. So for him to have passed that ball, we must have got our long closeout. Okay, we must have got our long close out. We've got to play for that. We've got to be ready to shoot the ball, punch that gap. Okay, last one of, the, of white. Here we go. Kill, 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 kill. All right, not bad. Not bad, guys. Okay, uh, I'll get you on the baseline. All right. Yep. So conceptually, right? So we're able to run out of this stuff, okay? With our flare screens, with our master separating. And the biggest thing with having an offense of this style, okay? Is you get to work on it every day, okay? So it's not something that, hey, we're running, we're running this set and we're doing this, we're running an Iverson play, we're doing this and you have to know all the ins and outs. Like at the end of the day, every single minute you spend in a program that's doing conceptual stuff, you're getting better at it. You're getting better at the choices. You're getting better at the skill sets around doing it. Okay. Now these guys had the unfortunate scenario of having to do six reps of it and, and learn it all in six reps. Okay. Well, they might have had a two hour session, got it. Next thing you know, boom, they're moving that basketball. They're playing out of their spaces. They're going into it. It doesn't take very long. Okay. To be able to play in this, in this huge conceptual offense. Okay, and you can lay that together. You can pull things out. You're like, oh, maybe, you know what? My group right now, I don't think we need to give them that choice. Okay, we're just going to curl everything. We're going to play out of there. We're going to go in the corner. I think that's really unique. And having a terminology that you can then communicate that efficiently and quickly. Uh, Tom's got the Villanova shirt. We stole the numbers a little bit from their, their motion. We, different motion, okay? But they've, they've run a motion where they, they kind of do the same kind of thing um, with the number set up. We thought that was a very efficient way to be able to communicate what we're doing.